Hi there. Sorry, just can't be reading a book about space. Uh, well, since you're here, maybe we could talk about sock puppets. I got given some sock puppet stuff for my birthday. I know you usually use old socks, but this was some kind of kit that someone made. So I thought I'd make them and show you how to do it. Not that you really need teaching, I'm sure. Anyway, this is one I've already made. This is a, some kind of dinosaur. It's got little arms. It's got a tail. Some kind of spiky head thing. A couple of googly eyes. A tongue and a little nose. So I'll make another one so that you can see how to do it. This is what you're gonna need. You're gonna need a sock. These are a bit small. You could do with something a bit bigger. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, some kind of glue, you probably need a pen, and you'll need some felt or something to cover the outside. You can use paper or cardboard if you want. And uh, I've also got some, some little fluffy balls and a few googly eyes. Now, the first step when you've got your sock is to put it on your hand to see how it's gonna fit. So generally, where the heel is, just there, that's where your finger's gonna be. And then there's your sock puppet shape. So your eyes are probably gonna go around here, so we're gonna to wanna to mark that. So if we just draw a little black mark on there. So that's where your eyes are gonna be. And then you've got the mouth here, so it's probably a good idea just to mark on a little bit. It's not really obvious, but you'll be able to see it when you uh, when you lay the flock out <laughs> lay the flock when you lay the sock out flat, and then uh, everything else will just be down this bit here and here as well. So we'll take the sock off now. Right, now you need to decide which colours you're going to go for. I think yellow would look pretty good on this one. Maybe, actually we'll go for blue. Now for a tail, like this one here, it's just a triangle bit there and then some spiky bits. So what we're going to do is get a ruler. We need to measure out the spiky bit. So get a pen and draw a diagonal line down there, the felt there for the spiky bit. And then because we need the tail as well, I'll draw another diagonal line down here. So we're not wasting too much of the, uh, the felt. Now, we'll just cut that out. Right, that'll do. So you've got your spikes, you've got your tail, and just glue it on there with a bit of glue here. Move that aside. Right, now you need to make some arms, and we'll just draw those on here. And right, obviously you're not going to play with these. I mean, I'm not going to play with these. I've got a friend, she's pregnant at the moment, so she'll be having a child soon. And it's kind of a little toy for her, I guess. She'll just be able to scare the child with it. <laughs> I'm not sure a dinosaur's the best thing for a, a newborn, but I'm going for that anyway. Could have done a dog or a duck or a, well, it's obviously a snake's probably the easiest thing to go for. Right, so there's my arms. They're not perfect but that'll be fine. Now we need a little tongue. So a little bit of felt. Let's cut off a tongue. Don't 
doesn't have to be perfect. So there's the tongue gun. And our little sock there. This little blue bit will go down the back. With the tail. A couple of arms either side. The tongue will be under here. And a couple of googly eyes. And we'll need a nose. And that's pretty much it. I'll stick those all on and then I'll, uh, I'll show you when it's done. The glue's still not completely dry, but we can put it on to figure out whether it's right or not. Not much we can do now, actually, since I've glued it, but I can certainly put it on to see what it looks like. Ooh, tail's coming off a bit there. So there we go. There's Mr. Sock Puppet, or Tyrannosaurus Rex.